Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do green screen the absolute best way. As you can see, this is all sorts of jumbled, but watch this. Clean. Easy as that to do your green screen. I'm going to show you guys in my computer right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that little thing in the beginning. I hope it got you all excited to see the potential here. What we're going to be doing to get started with this is we're going to be cutting out a piece of one of our clips. And as you can see here, I just kind of layered them on top of the clips that we have below. But with this one, we're not going to do that because it's just a stylistic choice. We're just going to make this one see-through in all the green areas and all the areas that we don't like. So we're going to cut it out. We're going to make it a new fusion clip. Now that it's a fusion clip, we're going to pop into fusion down here. We're going to find the clip that we just made, which is the second one right here. We go ahead and click on that. And we have our media in and our media out. This is what we'll output after we've done all of our stuff in Fusion. This is what's coming into Fusion right now. So first things first, we are going to grab a mask. And this is going to allow us to make what's called a garbage mat. So we are going to draw around all of the garbage in this clip around there and I made a little bit of a mistake because my arm is definitely too close to that light so it might get cut out a couple of times throughout this and then we're going to invert that mask then we're going to click back over here we're going to hit shift space to search through all of our tools and we are going to grab a clean plate we're going to drag the output of our media in onto our clean plate, and we're going to place this in viewer number one. You can do that by pushing one with it selected, or by clicking on this little dot down here. So what we're going to do now is go ahead on over and drag to select our green color with this little dropper right here. We're going to erode it out just ever so slightly to get any of the edges like the hair and stuff like that. We are going to grow the edges so the whole screen is some kind of green. And then once we've done that, we are going to get a delta keyer right there, boom. And we're going to drag this, but we're also going to hold shift so that we can pop it in between these two clips. And then this is going to affect our media in into our media out, and our media out is what we're seeing up here. So we're going to go ahead and right click drag the output of this polygon mask into our delta keyer, and then we're going to go ahead and click garbage mat. And then we're going to drag this clean plate up and the, the same way, and then we're going to hit clean plate. And then you've got a pretty clean green screen. If there's anything that you need to change about it, um, you can use these tools up here. Just play around with them, see what gives you your best results. I like to change this to rare so that if anything is spilling, like if there's motion or anything like that, you'll see that motion go away. So with all that, we've got a clean green screen. And just to remind you what we came from, it looked like this. And that is not very good at all for what we're trying to do here. So going from that, to this is a beautiful thing, especially with how messy that green screen was before. So anything that you want to show underneath this clip, you're going to drag out an image or another video or whatever you want underneath there. You're going to drag out whatever clip you want to be underneath it. You're going to pop it down there underneath it. Make sure it's the correct length. And then as you can see, boom, your clip is done being green screened. And that's really all there is to it super easy to do and I hope you guys learned everything you needed to learn from this video. Go out and make green screen footage. Put yourself in space. Put yourself in the jungle. Put yourself underwater. Do whatever. Use this to the best of your ability and if you have any questions hit me up in the comments down below and I will answer all of them. Make sure you like the video. If you learned anything from it make sure to subscribe to the channel for new videos every Monday and Wednesday. Again, ask your questions in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.